with every click and every frame. Photographer Amir Khodorov is focused on making Jaffa's St. Peter's Church look like a Renaissance painting. Speaking about the Renaissance epoch, that they will do it exactly as they see. And then you're going to get all around like exactly what they saw from their eyes and from their brain with adding some uh, parts or some small stuff. The retired F-16 Air Force pilot and colonel is an 18th generation Israeli whose photography career is taking off thanks to a dream he had since the age of 17 when he saw a painting by Dutch Renaissance master Rembrandt. And going into the Rembrandt Museum and see this 25 meter painting, paint of them, and I shocked, sat down and looked on that three hours. And I told to myself, wow, this is not a painting. This is a full narrative story that tell you everything from big to small, from small to big, and most important, it's emotional. Dozens of people turned out for the premiere of Khodorov's exhibition at the Shimon Buzaglo Art and Design Workshop in Tel Aviv's Florentine District. Uh, so it's in a um, design space which gives a different um, feel and effect. It feels uh, like a home. Like it feels like a home. Feels like a home, room. like an exhibit in a home. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the idea. You can see from Amir's vibrant pieces from Times Square and other landmarks of New York City and around the world that he's able to open up each scene with a feeling of giving the viewer a giant embrace. The beauty is like, again, arguing and... Uh, and going the, in, it's leaning yeah. in. Yeah. And a little angel, I see angel wings. A it's little. angel wing. Yeah, they are outside the wing. Amir creates this sensation by literally shooting from the hip. Hundreds of photos that he weaves together into one final piece, showing that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. This is 80, 85% of all the old city. Wow. You can see all of them together, the Christian side, the Muslim side, and the Jewish side. Wow. And this one, when I finished in death, said, Wow, I did it. Since the camera doesn't lie, Amir says the hardest thing is capturing the natural contrast of light and dark. Part is very dark, part is with light. Part is shiny, part there is a light over there. So I have to think about all these small things, even though that I'm not looking into the, uh, the camera when I'm shooting, now, 500 years later, the beauty of Renaissance art outshines the darkness of a time in history marked by plague, war, and the Inquisition. Similarly, Amir hopes his works will illuminate and transform the darkness facing our planet today. And I wasn't emotional for what I saw from the Renaissance, that what they wanted to bring, beauty. And we are speaking about an epoch that was not beauty, with wars, with, but they brought, they brought beauty. Beauty of self-start and positive energy. And this is what I want to bring for my artwork.